On this channel, I've talked a ton about different ways to mount an extra display to a Steam Deck for dual screen emulation. My latest attempt used a 3D printed brace I designed. It works great, but is, you know, admittedly kind of clunky. Plus, it hasn't exactly been a great option for all y'all out there who've left comments asking for something compatible with an ROG Ally. Luckily, Mechanisms dropped a new phone mount that makes adding a handheld second screen to a Steam Deck much easier than any of my previous options while also providing support for just about any handheld you have on hand. For those unfamiliar, Mechanism are the folks behind the DeckMate grip. It's a simple clip-on accessory that works as easy as a micro SD card holder as it does a quick way to add a kickstand or battery mount. It's extremely versatile, and I've really enjoyed using mine for the past year or so. The phone mount slots into place using their universal clip mounting system. It's satisfying to clip into place and even has an extra latch at the bottom for added stability, alongside two thumb screws to help adjust the mount's tilt. It's all felt extremely solid in the past month or so that I've been using the early review sample Mechanism sent me. That same satisfaction comes with using it with other grips too. I don't have an ROG Ally on hand to test their Ally Mate grip, but their new Portal Mate grip feels just as solid as the Steam Deck version. Meanwhile, their universal grip can be attached to just about anything else with the same security. I'm a huge fan of all of this versatility and think there will be enough compatibility between their existing options for anyone with a current horizontal handheld looking to satisfy their portable dual screen gaming itch. The one major hitch is that phone compatibility is a bit of an issue out of the box. You see, the phone mount uses magnets to hold a phone in place. That means you'll need either a recent MagSafe equipped iPhone or a Qi 2 compatible phone to really make full use of it. That's problematic for two reasons. For one, as of this video, iOS isn't great for dual screen setups due to the lack of UVC support. And two, Qi 2 phones don't really exist yet. So most folks who want to do more than keep an eye on their Discord chat or watch YouTube while grinding dailies will likely want to invest in a workaround. Fortunately, finding a usable workaround is actually quite easy. The first option is to get a case with inlaid metal. For newer phones, dbrand makes some great cases that are MagSafe compatible. There are also a plethora of much cheaper options available on Amazon if you're willing to take a small risk. The one I got for my Fold 4 sent me back about $30 and is more than functional for slapping it on the mount. I'll drop a link to it below in case you're interested. The second option, and likely the better option for most people, comes directly from Mechanism in the form of these thin metal rings with 3M tape on the back. Once applied, there's no sign they're coming off by themselves, which is much appreciated for something that I need to mount. Each phone mount comes with one of these in the box, and they work perfectly for adapting just about any phone I have on hand to work with the mount. The only problem with these is that adhesive tends to work best for devices and cases with smooth backs. More textured devices like my Red Hydrogen 1 or LG dual screen case are likely not great candidates to apply these without worrying they'll slip off at the wrong time. It's a minor issue, for sure, but if you happen to get one of these and only have a device that's textured, you may want to get a smooth skin or case to attach the ring to. That's what I've been doing with some of my phones and it works great. Okay, enough about the hardware, let's talk about what it feels like to use the phone mount to actually play games. For those who haven't seen my other videos, my wired setup includes a USB-C to HDMI adapter, Shadowcast 1, the shortest USB-C cable I could potentially find, and a handful of angled adapters to make everything reach. Then I use an app called USB Camera Pro on my phone to feed the footage from my Steam Deck to the phone. Unlike other mounting solutions I've tried, there's more than enough room between this mount and my phone to comfortably contain all of my adapters. That's extra important when I actually want to sit it down on a table. No wires around back and a sturdy brace mean that nothing flexes or feels like it's going to fall apart if I'm not careful. 
During actual gameplay, the phone mount is also one of the best experiences I've had adding a second screen to my Steam Deck to date. Everything attaches in a few seconds and it always feels extremely sturdy. Under normal conditions, I never get the sense that anything is going to come loose, even when I rotate my Steam Deck or hold it flat. There is still the typical top-heavy pull associated with mounting a display to a handheld, but being able to eliminate the extra need for extra mounting gear lightens the experience and makes this setup way more comfortable to use for longer. Short of a bespoke, hyper-custom solution to build a mount into the case itself, I think this might be the best mounting solution available. If I had one gripe, it's that the magnets almost work too well. Once something's attached, it takes a significant amount of force to pry it off. It's something I've kind of gotten used to over time, especially once I started twisting the phone while pulling from both sides to disconnect it, but it's still kind of awkward to handle. The same awkwardness applies to adjusting rotation. If I happen to attach a phone at a slight angle by mistake, it's extremely difficult to correct the angle without twisting the entire mount. My strategy so far has been to line up my phone just below the mount and flip it on carefully to get it the first time. It's a bit annoying to have to be so careful, but given the extra complexity or weakening of the magnets that'd be needed to make rotation possible, I'm actually more than willing to give Mechanism a pass to keep this solution as simple as possible. If you buy one, it's just something you'll need to adjust to. Depending on your device, you might also need to come to terms with a small misalignment between your phone and handheld display. For example, my Fold Force cameras are placed in such a way that even the case I bought, which places a metal ring as close to the camera bump as possible, results in the Fold 4 being slightly off-center when mounted. If you're using a similar device, or have a phone with a lot of clutter on its back, you might need to go in expecting a similar result. It's something I forget about while playing a game, but it's always just a little annoying when I realize the misalignment's there. A final thing to consider might also be that the phone mount is meant to be used with phones. For the most part, you shouldn't buy one of these expecting to attach a field monitor or small tablet with perfect results. It's just not designed to work well for that purpose. On top of not wanting to make this setup overly top-heavy or cumbersome, you'll also eventually hit a weight limit that either breaks the mount or makes it feel too cumbersome to just hold upright. When I asked my contact at Mechanism about an upper limit for weight, they mentioned that a device of at least 1.3 pounds had been tested without any issue. That should mean that there's some leeway to push this mount a little bit more than the various phones I've tried with it. However, during my own testing, I did try to rest my Surface 2 on the mount, and it immediately snapped all the way back. I got the same result from removing the magnetic puck and attaching a tablet mount to the quarter inch screw mount up top. The good news there is that the mount's more likely to break under stress before your Steam Deck. But attaching anything heavier or larger than a phone might understandably need to be done with some caution. Still, if you're using the mount as intended, you're likely to have a good time. Whether you're looking to dig into some 3DS games, keep a tab on your Discord chat, or just read a walkthrough while trying not to get stuck on a particular level. Mechanism's phone mount is a remarkably solid solution that makes portable dual screen setups easier than ever. As long as you can work around that whole magnet situation, it's bound to be the best solution you can find for dual screen gameplay short of buying a dedicated dual screen handheld. Those are my thoughts though. Now's the time when I ask for yours. Would the phone mount be useful for your setup? Or have you bought one yourself and have thoughts of your own you'd like to share with others? Let me know down in the comments. As always, if you found this video helpful or informative, click the like button to let me know, and then get subscribed for more dual screen gaming videos in the very near future. This video was made possible by pre-release review samples of the phone mount and portal mic grip provided by Mechanism. However, they had no editorial input into the making of this video and are seeing it for the first time along with all y'all. If you're interested in their products, 
I'll have links to the mount and various scripts in the video description. For folks with 3D printers, they even have files available to print much of the gear yourself. But hey, that's going to be all for this video. Thank you all for staying all the way until the end. Until next time, catch you later.